Hey everyone! Welcome back to Developer Maddie. In today's Excel tutorial, we're diving into conditional formatting. I'll show you how to highlight data based on specific conditions, such as top performing employees, overdue dates, or low inventory levels. This feature makes your data visually appealing and easier to analyze. Let's get started! Conditional formatting in Excel is a powerful tool that allows you to automatically apply formatting, such as colors, icons, or data bars, based on the content of your cells. For example, you can highlight cells with low sales, overdue tasks, or specific text. Example data. Employee name. Sales. Target. Completion date. First, let's highlight the sales that exceeded the target of 75,000. Select the sales column, B2, B6. Go to Home Conditional Formatting Highlight Cells Rules Greater Than. Enter 75,000 in the box. Choose a formatting style, e.g., green fill with dark green text, and click OK. Now, all sales above 75,000 are highlighted in green, making it easy to spot the top performers. Next, let's highlight tasks with completion dates before today to identify overdue items. Select the completion date column, D2, D6. Go to Home Conditional Formatting New Rule Use a formula to determine which cells to format. Enter this formula. Equals D2 today. Click Format and choose a red fill to indicate overdue tasks. Click OK. Now, any tasks with past dates are highlighted in red, making it easy to identify overdue items. Let's visualize sales performance with data bars. Select the sales column, B2, B6. Go to Home Conditional Formatting Data Bars. Choose a gradient fill style you like. You'll now see bars within the cells, showing the relative size of each sale compared to others. This is great for quick visual analysis. What if you want to highlight the top 10% of sales? Let's do that. Select the sales column, B2, B6. Go to Home Conditional Formatting Top Slash Bottom Rules Top 10%. Choose a color, like gold, to highlight the top sales. Click OK. Now, the top 10% of sales are highlighted, making it easy to identify exceptional performance. Finally, let's use icon sets to add visual indicators for sales performance. Select the sales column, B2, B6. Go to Home Conditional Formatting Icon Sets. Choose an icon style, like traffic lights or arrows.
Now, each cell has an icon indicating whether sales are high, medium, or low. That's it for today's tutorial on conditional formatting. Now you know how to highlight data based on conditions, create visual indicators, and make your spreadsheets easier to read and analyze. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more Excel tips. Thanks for watching Developer Matty, and I'll see you in the next video.